Moving on to other stories, the federal government has launched a renewed a conditional cash transfer for 15 million households across the country. The gesture was done in commemoration of the International Day for the Eradication of Poverty. President Bolati Nobu, who was represented by the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Senator Jaja Kome, assured Nigerians of the administration's commitment to restructure the humanitarian affairs and alleviate poverty with a seven-year roadmap to tackle food security and end hunger, eradicate poverty, drive economic growth and create jobs. My government will lead from the front in seeking to ensure that all Nigerians have decent opportunities for dignified work and sustained social protection. Today, my administration is launching the Renewed Hope Conditional Cash Transfer Program for vulnerable groups as an immediate intervention to caution the effects of fuel subsidy removal. The Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, Beta Edo, reiterated the resolve of the President to pull Nigerians out of poverty while mitigating humanitarian crisis across Nigeria. 15 million households will be receiving 75,000 naira over a space of three months. This equates to this equates to about 61 million Nigerians. On his part, the Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Wali Edo, said President Tinubu is committed to aggressively alleviate poverty through many economic empowerment initiatives. World Bank Country Director in Nigeria, Shubham Shudori, said they are happy to provide finance for the various measures of President Tinubu's poverty alleviation efforts to help support in cushioning the effect of fuel subsidy removal on Nigerians. Cash directly, you reduce poverty. You help them in a significant way. So I commend um, this particular initiative, and I know it is one of a package that Mr. President has for Nigerians. And let me just say, finally, there is concern when payments are being made like this. And in this particular case, the audit trail is there. The mechanism that is going to be used is one that is biometric. That this has taken, you know, it's been a while to get to this point because the first thing that needed to happen was, in fact, it began on the first day of this administration with His Excellency the President making that bold announcement about eliminating fuel subsidies. And then that was an incredibly bold move, one that had been you know, not taken in the past for many years.